Hi, I'm Mad Morphin, welcome to the video. In this one, I work the night shift at a convenience store that seems to be haunted. This is the next playthrough in my Scare Bear Saturday series, where every Saturday I'm playing a new horror game from start to finish, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy. Let me know if you want to see some more games from this developer in particular, and recommend me your favourite one by them in the comments below. I've previously played the one where I was being stalked working in a coffee shop, so if you want to see that, that is on the channel as well. Thank you for watching, please do remember to hit the like button as it really does help YouTube know to share this video with more people, and enjoy the video. Alright, we've woken up in our apartment, got dressed for our first day at work, and we're off. I've turned off head bob, because... Oh, I need to eat something. Oh, okay. I mean, don't go to work on an empty stomach. Eat these potato chips. No? Oh, okay. That looks like a lot to have. I was going to say first thing in the morning, but I suppose it's not since it's dark outside. It could be very early, it could be very late. here and get all the lovely radiation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to match the uh, tones of things. Is this done yet? Impatient. Come on. That's enough. Eat the bento. Now I can go, since I already changed my clothes. Hey, hey, yeah. So, made me jump. Feels like this creator really takes everyday occurrences, especially work-related occurrences, and turns them into your fear. And kind of a natural fear that we have. Everyone would feel that kind of suspicious closed-in feeling walking streets late at night. Is this... oh, okay. This is a very odd place for a convenience store to be all on its own out here. You alright, mate? How's it going? How you been? Bloody hell. Hello. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Dave. I'll see you after my shift, alright, mate? Bing bong. Sorry. Oh, God, you made it. Hmm. Oh, no, it's just I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you crossed. It was an old lady said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. <laughs> Sorry. Right. What's this? Phone SIM cards or Siggies or something? Mmm. Food. Oh, turn my flashlight off. That might look like, a, look like a weirdo in here walking around with my flashlight out, don't I? I'd be like, you look like a weirdo anyway, flashlight or not. <sighs> I rarely buy magazines, but I do buy Austin Lee magazines. Is this uh, someone we like? Freshen up. Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Wow, this looks fancy for a convenience store bathroom. Hello, we have buttons and stuff. Toilet of the future. Listen, not to, you know, devolve into talking about toilet stuff or anything, but I've never used a uh, toilet with all of this fancy stuff. Has anyone done that? And do you think it's good? Does anyone dare answer that in the comments and share whether they have used a fancy toilet with buttons and fountains and stuff. Carrot juice, highly recommended. I don't know if I've ever had carrot juice. It's so like, what's my job? What do I do? I'm just kind of just browsing at the moment. Is it time for my shift yet, mate? 
Do I work here? I thought I worked here. Ha! Ah, that's me. Okay. Hi. What are you waiting for? Punch in. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I know how stuff works. Punching in. That's like, you know, if you wanted to, every time I come by and we punch in, like, you could say, punch it, Chewie. Like, Star Wars. You could be, like, Han Solo and I could be Chewie. Or we could do it the other way around. I'm just saying, if you wanted to, like, build some workplace camaraderie just between a couple of nerds or something. Oh, okay. I'll just amuse myself. Thanks. Is this me? Punch. Punch it! Me? You see, I said the thing and that... Oh. Right, okay, well. Sure, that's fine. I think some food are expired by the... By the time you start your shift, take them off the shelves. Hello? Is anyone there? I heard the ding-dongs. Oh, there's someone coming in. I was going to check that computer, but I guess I'll just... I mean, I could have a quick look, couldn't I? Use the CCTV. Oh, okay. We're going into something. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's so cool. Yo, if I, like, worked in someone with CCTV, I feel like I would just watch it like it's goddamn Big Brother all the time. I should probably go out there and serve him. Hello, sir. Welcome to Convenience of the Convenience Stores. I do hope you'll find your shopping time convenient. Here, if you need any assistance, I will squidgy my hand so it's nice and fresh for you. I do have some old rolls here if you would like some. Please take your time. What's this? Some lovely treats. Look at those. I would totally yank a couple of those. Have a little crunch whilst I'm here waiting for you. In your own time, sir, while I'm young. Hello. What's that? You want to buy a phone? Oh, right. I use this. I scan. Thanks. That's Mr. Slow Motion there. So, we have some expired stock on the shelves. We can't have that. Better check all the shelves. Take items off that are expired. Where do they live? You know, I would quite like this just to be a uh, shop sim. I could quite happily just do my job and um, hang out with you. I don't have to do the whole spooky aspect at all. If the game wants to do that, I don't know. I don't even know what the spooky aspect is. Obviously, in the other game that I played, we were being um, stalkist. And that was pretty creepy, I have to say. I'm going to just shut that. The coffee shop one. Which led to people saying, hey, do uh, the rest of these. Hello? 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 We've got a ghost. I have to do a bag at a time. Seems a little excessive. Shelf looks fine. Good. What are these? Croissant? 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 Love a croissant. How do you like your croissant? Oh, hello. Welcome to Convenience of Conveniences. I do hope you'll enjoy your convenience whilst you're with us. Hello, sir. What's that you've got? Kind of late for a delivery man at this time. We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. And the name matches your tag. I think this is for you. Oh. Um, thanks. Anyone? 
anyone ever do night shift anywhere? I would love to hear where people have done night shift work in a comment. It must be pretty spooky, honestly. I would definitely spook myself out. I kind of have done like, like night shift. I always would stream really late. My stream hours were basically like 10 p.m. to around 6 a.m. when I was like mostly just doing live streams. But it's not the same as obviously like being out with the uh, the weirdos of the night. What's in the box? Oh, take it home. Okay. All right, calm down. Why would I not just look at it there? All right, I'm making dinner. It's a tape? That's creepy. That's really creepy. Me and my friends once found a VHS tape in a bin. Like someone had wrapped it up in plastic bags and thrown it in a bin. I don't know who was even looking in the bin. But someone like threw something into the bin and it made a noise and they were like, what's this? And it was VHS tape. We were at the park and we were like 13, 14, something like that, maybe a bit older. And we were like, what's on the tape? Oh my God, it was like unmarked. We were like, this could be something terrible. This could be like something super like scary. And we put it on and it was just naughty stuff. But you know, so probably just like someone's mum found it and was like, oh, you can't watch that, get rid of it, throw it out. And, uh, but you know, it was for, for a moment, like on the way back to the nearest friend's house who lived nearby, we were like, what's gonna be on this tape? Oh my God, this is, life is a movie. This is the start of, a great Stephen Kingish adventure, but it was just, uh, you know, boobs. All right. Let's see what's on here, I guess. It's so loud. If there's gonna be jump scares that loud, I'm gonna absolutely pee myself. How do I play? Watch closely. I mean, not that closely. I mean, we have food first. Nothing in there. It's, uh, that must've been food from Neverland and I can't shut the door apparently. Okay. You're doing it, Peter. You're playing with us. Who's the shrub? What's this? The tape we were sent. Okay, so someone's recording where? Where are they? Oh. Hmm. None the wiser on that one, I'm afraid. Do I go to bed? I go to work. I can see where I work from here. How cool. Is this like all my apartment or is it other people's apartment? Or is this all my house? Ah, oh God, Jesus Christ. I just cut to black screens like that. Are you kidding me? What do you mean first night? I already did my first night. Oh, Jesus, that was like being electrocuted. Oh my God, like if something ran out of that darkness, I'm gonna fall out of my chair. What's this yellow stuff out the back? Is that like a parking space? Oh, it's parking spaces, okay. Jeez. Hey, hey, I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor. The wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Uh, ghosts aren't real, after all. all right. Sorry, I was had the flashlight in your face the whole time, though. Mm. I'm gonna do it. Say the thing, because I'm gonna do it. So if I, when you hear the machine go... When I, when I punch in, you say the thing. Right, okay. Well, that's, um, that's the last time I tried to be your friend, to be honest. I saw some rats behind the store. Someone must be left the garbage bin open. The first person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents. Hello? Someone leaving. Perhaps it was our friend there. I say friend very loosely since he won't share in the... Oh, someone's knocked the bins over. Hello? Why are we going to black screen? Right. Um, I guess I'll go take care of that. Ha! Ah, oh, there's an old lady! Okay. Oh.
Come on, you can do it. Out the road, dear. Out the road, dear. Come on. It's shut on me, but... It'll probably open when you... What's this guy doing? Come on. There you go, love. Come on. Come on, dear. In your, in your own time. What's this? Oh, it's just a shiny floor. There you are. I'm hoping it doesn't close on you. It's been a bit... The wiring's been a bit... Oh, careful. Right, you might have to sort of... Dive through the glass. That's fine. That's fine. That's a lovely jumper you have there. Can I help at all? Right. Well, whilst you're doing your shopping, I'm going to go out back and take care of the rodents by the bins. Um, probably finish my shift, go home, have a sleep, come back, and then I will uh, ring you up tomorrow when you actually finally make your way to the checkout. All right, darling? Okay. I'll see. I'll be right with you by Christmas 2024. Right, rats. Lovely. And how am I supposed to deal with that? Hmm? What do I use? Oh, is this poison? I don't actually want to, but it's part of the game. I don't think I have a choice. I'm sorry, darling. I feel like everything should be dealt with humanely. Humane traps. Re Isn't this the thing from the video? That police tape. Isn't it? Isn't that what was in the... In the tape? I don't like that very much at all, I have to say. That's giving me the absolute... Creeps. Hmm. Okay. One more rat to go. Where are you? Feel like I need to lift that. Okay. Last one done. Back in I go. <laughs> Check on the old lady. All right. Right. I'm here. I'm here, sweetheart. Did you... She bloody robbed the place. I knew it. Hello, mate. Jesus. Right, you're in a hurry. Please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar. Hurry up. So this is... You know, I'm not a concierge. It's, um... Probably be faster if you grabbed the beer that you wanted. You know, you don't have to... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Tell him to go get it himself. How do I get more beer in my hands? Oh, I have a milkshake in the fridge. I want to drink that now. Cigars. These? Here you go. I'm trying to find the beer. This is mental. Why do I have to give beer one at a time? You know we have baskets by the front entrance, right, sir? You can just... But okie dokie. Here's the final beer. Here it comes. Choo-choo. Here comes the beer train. Choo-choo. Sorry, I figured since you needed me to fetch them for you that you were a baby. There we go. No tip. All right. Did you literally just park there as well without actually parking in a space? You absolute plum. The entitlement of it all. I'll just wait for my shift to finish now, I suppose. I dealt with the blooming rats, didn't I? Oof. Gives me the creeps, dude. Ah! Someone there? At the back? Am I seeing things? Or is that someone by the toilet? Maybe I'm seeing things. Wish I could, like, move this more. Terrible cameras that only go up and down. Okay. Was there someone? Oh! 
Oh, dear. Sorry, sorry, dear. I thought you would. Uh, you're still here. What is it, my love? Did something happen in the bathroom? Are you okay? You. Oh. Where's Where's Ken Hoon? Ken Coon. You know where Ken Coon is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Oh. Sorry, I think you might be lost. Oh. There you go, quick, before it closes on you. Wonderful. I wonder if I should see if she left something in the toilet. Not literally in the toilet, that would be disgusting, but I feel like maybe I wasn't meant to just shut the door, because it said the thing about keep it clean, so maybe there's like a note in here or something. Like a clue? Nothing. Door's going off again. Just ignore it. It'll deal with itself. It'll right itself in a minute. I'm sure. Any second now. Right. Okay. Okay. Listen here, door. What's the matter with you? Stop. Where do your wires go? Is this your wires? Skidoo, 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 skidoo. Kind of creepy. <sighs> oh, there's a child out there making it open up. Wait. What? Um. That was very creepy. There was definitely a child on the camera, but I was literally just out there as well, seeing if I could find the wires. Oh, that's terrifying. Delivery guy's back again. Quickly hide behind the counter. Good to see you again. Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. There is? Where? Oh. Weird. Here you go. Okay. How would you even pass time if this was your job? In a time before smartphones. Couldn't sit on TikTok. You know. Did I shut that back door or not? I worked in a shop once. Um, and it was like... I didn't have a smartphone, I don't think, at the time. Or at least, I mean, phones weren't what they are now. But, um... I used to just watch DVDs. I would buy DVDs, like, just to watch at work. Oh, oh, second night, okay. Umbrella! It's gonna be raining. Hello? I hate knocking at the door, that's, that's terrifying. Hello? Right, what's that? What is it, mate? Another bloody tape, I bet. Horses. Right, shut that. Is it going to be 
this time. I don't think that is that area, but... Right, okay. Someone keeps sending me their student art film. Not interested. It's like when you used to get rentals delivered to the door, you know? Imagine back in the day when you sometimes you used to go to Blockbuster and you would rent videotapes. And they would say, be kind, rewind, and you'd rewind the videotape before you took it back for the next person to rent. And then we lived in a world where you signed up for subscription services, the original Netflix, and they would send DVDs in the post. And you would watch the DVD and then send it back. A physical disc. It was actually a very exciting time. You'd come home from work and you'd see like a... It was called Love Film here. It wasn't called Netflix, but it was the same company. And you'd come back from work or wherever. And then there'd been a delivery of a new film to watch. And you just had... You didn't even... This is how crazy this is, right? You didn't even get to pick what you watched. You had a list... And you had to put like 20 or 30 films on there. Or games. You could do games as well. And they just sent what was available. What other people... You were like in a queue. So if other people were watching it, obviously you couldn't have that latest film. And they would send you something old. And then you would watch that. So you wouldn't even know what it was. So it was like actually quite exciting. Because you'd think, oh, what am I gonna... What have I been sent? You know? But... It's actually crazy to think back to that. I had completely forgotten about that. And then think how we just access everything completely on demand now. Even you watching this video is something you've decided to watch and pull up on demand. Everything's just now, now, now. You pull up Netflix, you've got thousands of films and TV shows to watch. And it's not even that long ago. Listen, I'm not that old, okay? But I come from a time where you were just beholden to whatever was available to watch. You'd go to, even the old days as a kid, you'd go back to, block, you'd go to Blockbuster to rent the latest video, and they, they could already be gone. And they would have, the way they used to do it, they would have the cover there, and there would be like a, another cover behind to show whether there was a tape in stock. So you'd go there and you'd be like, oh, that latest film, but there'd be no, none in stock. And you just, you'd, you'd missed it. Everyone was, uh, you know, already got there before you. Simpler times, honestly. I'd probably go back if I could. As crazy as it sounds. It was just a slower pace of life and... Everything's a bit hectic and dramatic these days, isn't it? Right, where's my mate? Why is he not here? Is he in here? Chum? Ah, oh, you absolutely... Why did you do that, you dickhead? Don't say boo to me. I absolutely... <laughs> I'm having, a, I'm having a quiet conversation about Blockbuster Video over here as I come here to work to do my job during a cost of living crisis, you absolute buffoon. Christ. That legit scared the life out of me. I got you good. No. Whatever. I promise I won't do it again. Dude, you are an absolute ass. That's what the jump scare is going to be like in this game. We're in trouble. Some products are missing on the shelf. Keep the shelves full. Okay. Let's have a look at the CCTV. There you go. Off your pop, son. You absolute. Very unhappy with you. Oh, hang on. What's happening there? What was that? Just crawled off. Something just crawled. Around that corner. I'm sure of it. Uh, I don't want to go down there. I'll stack the bloody shelves. Where do these live? They look like these. Maybe they go in here. 
No. Right, I know where the... Hello? Is someone out there? See anyone through the thing? That's scary. Hello? Don't see anyone. This. Hello, sir. Welcome. Interesting look you have there. Something wrong with the air conditioning? Your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh. I hate to be working this late, but he pays me well. Don't mind me. I'll check the outside units and head right out. Why does my mind immediately go to, like, is my boss keeping bodies here? What's with wanting to keep everything fresh and that kind of talk, you know? I'm so good at my job after getting lost for 20 minutes. Looking for somewhere to put some sandwiches and sushi. God damn it. Hello? <laughs> the rain starting up scared me. Where did you go? Is there a key in there? I should have watched him on the CCTV. The way it just stops though. Hi, can I help you? Right? What do you want with that? What's on the CCTV? She's waiting to be served. The guy just like disappeared out there. You're good to go. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Be careful. Oh, thanks. Is the toilet haunted now? Or is that what is occurring here? Oh dear. Uh, hello? Mr. Air Conditioning Man. <laughs> right, okie dokie. One's made a right old mess. There's no one in here. What am I hearing? So, someone on the computer? No one on the computer, okay. expecting to see at all that was awful um okay i thought maybe we had a creepy child and we have a giant witch what am i supposed to do with that So I'll have to look in here. Like, what happened here? Hello? Oh, God. Mm. 
this may be where the key goes. Exercise the door? Yes. Talismans. Oh my gosh. So it's like I do that instead of use the key. Like it would be bad to let something out of there, right? Like, is it now? Now do I open it? Now that it's like I put spell stuff on it? Maybe now. Maybe now it's safe. But I guess if you're foolish, you might just do this without doing a spell first. I didn't expect it just to open. I didn't expect it just to open. I thought it was gonna... What's happening here? I thought it was gonna give me an option. The dead rats and... Isn't that the guy that works here? Isn't that our friend? Four? Manager? Four? Right, okay. Four what? Oh god. And he has all the tapes. For what? God. Oh no. dream? I don't think so. Um, I was kind of hoping that would be the end. That was terrifying. Door's locked. Great. Okay. Oh dear. A tape. Hmm. This is very scary. It's like a different kind of horror. The shack. It's like we're getting closer every time. Am I allowed out now? Work I go then. Absolutely need some street lights here. This is ridiculous. Anyone can be expected to live their lives in this kind of light. What am I a mole? Am I a mole person? How does anyone leave their house at night? Terrifying. Is no one here again? Don't do the jump thing. Okay. Check the cameras. Back door's open. That one's fixed. No notes, though. Am I just supposed to go out there? <gasps> what? Is this what it's been like the whole time? Oh my god, that was so creepy. Am I crazy? Am I a crazy person? Did I like kill people and now I just live in this convenience store? What are these? They look like massive nails. Oh god. 
Oh god, I keep seeing that bloody anime face over the top of the shelf and it's scaring me. Oh, turn it on. The TV? Whoa. Well, hello? Wait, it said four. Maybe it meant turn on four TVs. One, two... Do I have to, like, find the right ones? What's the CCTV look like now? Maybe this is some sort of clue. Oh. Are you gonna... Oh my god, I thought you were gonna, lump, like, leap at the camera. Maybe you're gonna show me which ones I need to turn on? so scary. Right, where are you going? Aha. Uh -huh. Right, so you look up at that one, and then you stop at the end here and you look at this one. But it didn't. The door opened. Oh! Oh, I don't like that. Hey, kid, are you okay? Oh, God. Please don't... do anything. Wow, that's... super awful. Are you okay? I think I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Turn them off. Oh dear. This is... I don't think I want kids. Are you okay? Right, I'm alive, okay? Because I was help- oh my god, it's back to normal. Hello? I can't- Oh no. I was trying to help the child so I don't get eaten, right? Like, that's how these things work. Good karma. I guess I can choose to bin it, play it, or box it up. Hmm. Watch it, send it to someone else, throw away. Oh my god. Uh, I feel like it's going to be a bad idea to watch it, but also I want to know what happens if you watch it. I can't pass it on to someone else. Throwing it away doesn't seem like a good idea. Oh, curiosity killed the cat, I think. How can we not? How can we not? We have to. We have to. Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. 
That's me. That's me in my bed. That's my feet, you creep. You're looking at my toes. What's this? It's me in bed at night. Oh no. Oh, I'm scared. I'm not in control. I'm probably there looking at my toes. I can't move. Paralysis. Oh no, that's awful. Oh god. She munched. The girl from the ring. She wanted my feet. Thank you for watching. If you want some more from me, there's some videos on the screen right now for us to go on another spooky adventure together. Otherwise, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok. And I have a podcast of bedtime stories where I read to you to help you sleep. Let me know in a comment if you would like me to play some more games from this developer and maybe which games from them you like the best if you know them. I will see you next time.